Hey campers, Georgia, back in the man cave. Yep, looking at my show up in Chinese, trying to organize them, losing track. I think I have too many. Speaking of having too many, came across a knife that I haven't showed you and I've had it for about a month. So I thought I'd share it with you. It's a marbles. Yeah, this one. The MR592. It's from the G10 series. Here it is here. Let's check it out. So as I was saying, I was going through my, my knives and I try to keep a catalogue of what I've shown you and what I haven't. And I was going through again and I came across one that I haven't shown you. And like I said, it's a marvel to know. It's uh, this guy here. And uh, it's from their G10 series. Basically, it's the, the G10 handles that they put on, the scales and that sort of thing. And a little bit more with this one. But the reason this one got my attention was, not only is it the new G10 series, which is what I think of as the new modern way of putting together pocket knives from traditional knives. You know, the traditional knives have the, the handles you expect. They have all those different kinds of handles, the bone, you know, the horn, the the ones that are made in plastic but they're all fancy they have all that all of them have that now you're starting to see g10 come out which is the new go-to scale as far as these knives are concerned well this one in particular this guy here you can see it there it looks very nice i love the colors on this and right away you can see it's a much more what i what i would say modern rather than traditional look about it and yep, this one is from Marbles, and it's called the Marbles Orange G10 Scout Knife. Yeah, Scout Knife. This is what I would say is the new Scout Knife. So if you have kiddos or whatever that are going to become Scouts, this is probably what they're going to land up with. It's the more modern, up-to-date, comparing it to a more traditional. Uh, I think I have one here. I have, a, uh, I have one from Rough Rider. My favorite guys, although Marble is pretty tied up there with them. This is the Camp King, and I've showed you this before. I'll put a link below or up here or somewhere. There'll be a link to the video I did on this guy. And here you can see it's the Rough Rider Camp King. And yep, it's basically a scout knife. And when you look at the two, here you can see them here. Although one is a little, this is obviously bigger than the traditional Rough Rider camp knife there. That's what we're looking at you. And I wanted to have a look at what they've done with this. Surprisingly, quite a lot. As far as what's on it, as far as blades and tools, it's the same thing. Nothing's changed. It's still the traditional scout knife. It's just the way it looks and the outside that is different and a couple of other things, but we'll look into that. So let's check out the specs. So I'm just going to go through all the items on you. And obviously the first one, everybody wants to know, what is the blade? Well, there it is there. And it's a healthy one. Look at that. Nice and thick. And obviously it's a spear point. And on the blade they have the marbles. Can you see it? Uh, etched onto the blade and it has a nail nick with the mat strike and that surprised me because personally people the matches that they they're not carrying matches anymore we have all sorts of other things that we carry besides matches lighters and things like that but they chose to stay with the mat strike on the nail nick well, I don't have a problem with that I think that's pretty cool they're keeping something traditional it is the blades and tool side of it, so they're not really changed. So there's your blade there. And the blade length is 3 inches, and the thickness is 0.6 inches. And, you know, it's, it's a thick, healthy blade. Now, this is not a locking blade. Basically, it's just a slip joint. So uh, I think that's pretty typical. You have to be comfortable with that. It's not going to hold itself in, although it does click in there really pretty solid. You could hear that click. 
you hear it there, it does go in solid and it comes out again pretty good. It is 440A stainless steel. It is basically just a plain grind straight down with a sharp edge to it. And it's not surprising, it's sharp. So we might give that a quick test. Uh, let me get some paper here and let's see. Yeah, it cuts it just fine. Um, you know, from the factory, that's not bad. So, you know, can't complain about that. So that's the main blade. Like I said, three inches, 0.6 of an inch thick stainless 440A. So good healthy blade. And then on the same side, you have this, which is, yep, can opener. And you can see it there, it's nice and thick. Same thing, 440 steel, has the nail neck with the, uh, the match strike on it. It's a pretty big one. I think I wanna give this one a test. Unfortunately, this day and age, when you go out cooking and you're using canned food, 90% of the canned food out there has that pull tab on it. Do you need this anymore? No, probably not. But you're going to come across one that does. And I'm pretty sure it'll come in handy for other things. I don't know, scraping, that sort of thing. And it's healthy, nice and strong, big, solid. So there's your can opener. On the other side, they have your bottle opener. You can see it there. Same thing, nice and thick, solid. It does have a flat screwdriver on the end. Now nick with the match strike. Just your typical bottle opener. Once again, bottles, <laughs> you know, bottle tops now are becoming pretty rare. But hey, you never know. Old school, you might find yourself a bottle top that you need to get off. So, this is going to help. And of course, it has the screwdriver and it's solid. So there. Now, this here, this next thingy I'm going to show you here, has a nail neck with a match strike. And yeah, it's basically an awl. Now, Marbles refers to this as a reamer. I think of it as an awl. And you can see it has that sharp edge on here. And well, not sharp, but uh, that angled edge. So you can get in there and do what you're going to do. And it's going to ream stuff out. Interestingly, though, they added this, the hole in here. And they call it a sewing hole, like a needle. So you put your, you know, that's pretty big. You're going to be limited to what you can do with it. And you're going to be doing some serious sewing on it. But I'm thinking, you know, as a scout, they're not going to be repairing the clothes. They're going to be repairing the equipment, tents, tops, that sort of thing. This will work if you don't have anything else. Nice and solid. So I'll open it up here so you can have a look, see at everything at once. Then they're pretty good. So there you go there. So as far as the tools, the blades and things like that, oh, it does have a bail. Sorry, forgot about the bail. Got to have a bail on a scout knife. No bail, no scout knife. So there you can see the tools and the blade and everything, pretty traditional. However, when you look at the other parts of it, the pretty side of it, it's a little different. Let's look at that. The pretty side of the knife. And you can see there, this has the orange and the black uh, G10 material. Now, you know, I've looked up G10 and they're pretty vague about what it is. But it seems to hold up very well. It's solid. You may be able to scratch it or something like that, but it's going to take something to do it. When I first saw the G10 stuff out there, you know, I'm more of a traditional guy. I, I like to, I like the wood handles, the bone handles, that sort of thing. That's what I grew up with. To me, more traditional. This, modern. So the G10 does make a difference, but it's growing on me. I'm seeing more and more of it, and I've had a look at it. And I think I'm going to look a little bit closer at it. But uh, looking at it here, you can see you have uh, the two different colors. Basically, what they've done is they've put the orange in the middle here, like that, on both sides. You can see that. And then on the bolster sides, they made them black. So it actually looks like a bolster, a fancy bolster. It looks very nice. I, I kind of like it. Like I said, it's growing on me. The color options 
are a lot bigger. You have a lot more option here on colors. Now, they call this the orange G10. So I'm sure they have other colors. I like the idea of an orange. You drop this on the ground, you're going to find it. it lands in the grass, it's going to stick out. I, I kind of like that. Obviously, it has the three pins in it. You've got one here, one here, one there. So these support the bolsters. This just holds the skin on. Now here, you can see the line is there and a little bit of a gap on this one here. Uh, is it a big deal? I haven't seen it affect the knife. And marbles normally are pretty good with that. I was surprised to see that. But is it a big deal? Looking at the blades now, the way they stack these in here, look at that. It's not bad. Um, you know, they line up nice. There's, there's no problem here. The blade, this blade here is a little bit over to the left a little bit. Once again, no problem. They're not, they don't catch on each other or anything like that. They're just a little closer. They're not even. Now, the liners on here. And that's where they go different here. Your, your liners are the actual G10. They're not using stainless steel liners or any or copper, brass or anything like that. They're using G10 as liners. And uh, although you can't see it here, if you look in there, you can see along here on the edges of the, the scale. Yeah. But if you look at the back here, this is all stainless. So what do you do? Overall, I like this. Uh, it's growing on me, traditional or not. This, I think, is still, when it, for me as an old school guy, this is cool. This is traditional. That handle, the look versus this, to me, is modern day. A little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, but like I said, this is from Rough Rider. I like this, and I believe this was the one that I, uh, I actually tested the can opener because I've Heard people complain that, you know, the can opener it doesn't work. Uh, you can have a look here at the blades. You can see a big difference here. Obviously, size. Uh, but, yep, they're both spear point. They both look exactly the same. One's just a little bit smaller. They both have their labels on it, Rough Rider and Marbles. More traditional. I still like it, though. I think this is a cool knife to give, you know, a young boy who's going into the scouts or a young lady and needs that scout knife. This would be really nice. It's more modern. I think they would appreciate this more. They're going to look at this versus this and they're going to go, oh, I want that one. It looks cooler because of the colors and everything like that. Overall, I like the knife. The weight of this, overall weight, 4.48 ounces. It's not light. Like I said, it is a bit bigger thicker, heavier blade, probably sturdier, will take a lot more abuse. The blade here is three inches. Closed like this is 4.25 inches. So it, it's long. It's a lot long. You can see it. There's quite a difference there, almost half an inch. So this, I think, more traditional, modern day. What do you guys think? Am I just a grumpy old man? Uh, yeah. No. Besides that, not besides being a grumpy old man, I'm more traditional. But like I said, these are growing on me. And I think it's the wave of the future. You're going to see G10 everywhere. And you really see it. It's out there. And people are liking it. The Marbles Orange G10 Scout Knife. Pretty cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How much did I pay for this guy? That much. Considering the size, the weight, the thickness, the general overall, that's nothing. 15 bucks? You can't beat that with one of my big sticks. It's a good price. And it's one of those, you know, they're going to lose it. It's not going to cost you a fortune to replace it. Don't forget now. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back again soon. Probably with another sharp and shiny. I've got a couple of do-it-yourself projects I'm working on. Got a couple of walking sticks that I've been working on for a while and I need to get onto those and get those projects finished. And I'm hoping uh, in the near future I'll have more time to do that. You all be safe out there. Especially with these guys. The hooks, the sharpness, the shininess. Just saying. Thanks for watching. And you all be safe out there. Bye.